Thanks, guys. Um, you know, great fucking night. Great fucking night for BKFC and the sport and the fighters. It was unfucking believable. Um, we don't have exact attendance numbers. We did right around 8,000. We did very close to a million dollar gate. Um, phenomenal for being in business for four and a half years, and everybody wrote us off time after time after time again. Um, these, these fighters came in tonight, they delivered, they fought their asses off, they all left it in the middle of that ring. Phenomenal night for us. Um, fighter tonight, Chad Mendez versus Eddie Alvarez. KO of the night, uh, Dylan Weinmiller uh, scored a seven second knockout, second fastest in BKFC history. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal night for us. Um, you know, I just want to thank, I really, truly just want to thank the fighters from the bottom of my heart, man. They, I asked them, I, I, I did a fighter speech and I did it differently this time. I did it from my heart. I told them that I bet my fucking house on this. I bet my house on this. Well, Christina, we get to keep our house. So, thank you, Chris Camozzi. Um, Really great night for us. Uh, the fighters left it in the ring, what I asked them to do. I asked them to do, and we, I told them we're going to give out 8 to 10 bonuses. We're going to give out 10 to 12 bonuses tonight. We're going to give some extra money to these fighters because they earned it. Um, great night for us. Um, any questions? Or are we going to do this later? What are we doing? How are we doing this? Questions now? Questions. Um, it was just... So it's unbelievable. It's like, you know, having a child and watching your child grow up and finally graduates, you know, grade school. Then he graduates high school. And tonight he fucking graduated college. <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, we don't know what the numbers did. We just know we were trending number one in the world. So it had to do some numbers unless everybody stole the event from us, which could be possible, but at this stage of the game, it sucks. But you know, we know that tens of millions of people watched this event tonight. It was it was really the only combat sporting event on tonight. And no offense to the UFC, who's a phenomenal organization, obviously number one in the world, but everybody was watching us tonight. Dave, Dave, we have uh, we have one over here as well. Uh, Kyle, mission, mission accomplished. How important was the matchmaking tonight for the success of this event? Incredible matchmaking. Shout out to your matchmakers for this. Without matching up Mendez and Alvarez, you don't get Connor here putting a stamp of approval on this sport. Can you talk about that for a second? Absolutely. Look, um, we we got a great matchmaker. Sometimes the fighters get mad at him because he can be a little frugal from time to time. But he puts on great fights. I mean, he puts on great fights. We put on great fights at the organization. You know, a lot of people were saying to me, who do you want to win? Do you want Luke to win? Do you want Mike Perry to win? Do you want Eddie to win? Do you want Chad to win? I want the fans to win. I want a great fight. And when a great fights happen, the fans win, and the fans won tonight. All right, Dave, we have another one right over here. I'll come over there next. Matias Barbello, Sports. When did you find out that Conor McGregor was going to be here? And when you did find out, how did you react to it, considering you had one of the best lineups of the night in all, I mean, look, world, in all fight world? At the end of the day, I was really paying attention to the fights. It was a sold-out crowd, unbelievable crowd here, unbelievable fighters, unbelievable fights, so I don't want to take away from these guys. But, of course, it's phenomenal to have Conor McGregor here, the number one talked about combat sports athlete in the world, jumps in the ring and challenges one of our fighters. And whether it ever happens or not doesn't really matter. The fact is it, it was a viral moment for us. And the fact is when he's talking about it, everybody else in the combat sports world is talking about it. So it was a great thing for us. Yeah, definitely. Gigantic moment for us. Another question for President David Feldman. Dan Cool, Combat Press. Nice to meet you. Um, which fight surprised you the most? Um, really, they were all great. I mean, you know, the women's fight was, was sensational. Beck Rawlings came to win that title. Unfortunately for her, she, she su suffered a... Uh, a very bad cut eye and wasn't able to continue, but she came, you know, she brought it. She wanted to win that title, and Christine Faria showed tonight that she is still one of the baddest women in the world, so um, nothing really, really surprised me tonight. You know, it just, it was, it, was, it was an awesome night for us. It was an awesome night. All right, we have another one back here for the president, David Feldman. What's up, David? Matt Tucker, Fight Hub TV. Just wondering uh, if you had any updates on Luke Rockhold and what caused the injury. Um, Luke Rockhold um, got uh, some of his uh, teeth got cracked, so that's why he wasn't able to continue. In case a lot of people were, his uh, his uh, his, uh, his teeth definitely got messed up pretty good. Um, you know, 
And um, what a great start to that fight, right? Great fight. All right, any more questions for David Feldman? I'll approach you with the mic. We have one over here. I'm coming by. Pardon me. We know that coming into tonight, a lot of people were looking to earn title shots. Ben Rothwell called for the heavyweight title. We also had Chris Camozzi earlier in the week saying that he had talked to you about with a possible win, getting to challenge Lorenzo Hunt. Uh, any matchmaking you want to do tonight? Um, not, not really. I want to say that Ben Rothwell certainly earned a top contender spot. Um, Chris Camozzi went out there and, and looked great and certainly showed that you know, he could do the same, but we have some other things possibly in the works. We're going to know in the next week or so, you know, how, how all that pans out. Any more for President David Feldman? Do we have any more? Put your hand up if we have any more. Any? What's up, Lorenzo? All right, here you go. Lorenzo Hunt with Bare Knuckle News. I just want to say after an amazing ascension and continue to rise and rise and rise, what do you have planned next? Please tell us. You know, honestly, sleep. Like, seriously, and I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, I, haven't, I, I slept three hours this week. You know, I need some sleep. I need to spend some time with my family. I need my son to spend some time with his family. And, um, you know, my team to spend some time with their family. Like, they finally deserve the day off. So they're going to have Monday off. All right. Any more questions for the president of Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, the founder, David Feldman? All Thank right. you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.